Hi there, welcome back. In this video, let me give you the summary of the lesson. I will do it. If you want to watch the detailed explanation of this lesson, you can find the link to the video in the description below. This lesson, I will do it, was written by Sudha Murthy, the wife of Narayan Murthy. Murthy's full name is Nagavara Rama Rao Narayan Murthy. When he was a young boy, he showed great interest in physics and mathematics. His seniors used to ask him to solve their difficulties in science. As he was an introvert, he was shy in nature. That was why he could not be easily noticed in class. But when there was a question related to maths or science, there was a feeling of excitement in his eyes. He was very quick in understanding the theories of science. Muthi's father was a high school teacher. He was an enthusiastic reader of English literature. Muthi was trying to get admission into an engineering college. He, along with his friends, applied for the IIT entrance test. With no special books or coaching available, they would sit below the shade of a stone mandap near Chamundi Hills in Mysore. Mysore town is described as a sleepy town because there was nothing much exciting happening there. Murthy used to guide others and solve problems in the question paper very quickly. He was 16 years old then. On the D-Day, that is the day when Murthy took IIT entrance exam, he stayed with his relatives in Bangalore. Even though he did very well in the exam, he would say, OK. But when he talked about food, it was different. If the food was bad, he would say it was OK. If the food was OK, he would say it was good. And if the food was good, he would say it was excellent. His principle was never to hurt others. Muthi passed IIT entrance exam with a high rank. He told his father that he wanted to join IIT. But his father told him about his financial problems. It was because he was the single earning member in the family, he said he would not be able to send him to IIT. He asked him to study in Mysore. Muthi was disappointed, but he was an introvert and so he did not share his sorrow with anyone. By passing the IIT entrance exam, Murthy almost fulfilled his fondest desire of studying at an IIT but he was far from fulfilling his desire because his father expressed his helplessness. As his friends were leaving for Madras to join IIT, Muthi stood there silently. Muthi was not part of his friend's discussion. They were discussing new hostels and new courses. As the train was leaving, he waved hands at them and said goodbye. It started drizzling. He knew that all students from the IITs study well and do big things in life. But he also knew that it is not just the institution that changes your life. He knew he could change his life by hard work. Actually, he was following the philosophy of the Bhagavad Gita. Your best friend is yourself and your worst enemy is yourself. Muthi worked hard and he was never worried about personal comforts. He became successful but he never took the help of his caste or community to go up in life. He proved to the world that we can make money legally and ethically. He became a pioneer of India's software industry and started the information technology wave with his IT company Infosys. Muthi showed simplicity and he became an icon of uncompromising quality and fairness. Muthi is involved in many philanthropic activities as well. Muthi always believes in the motto, powered by intellect and driven by values. It means we should have the power of intelligence and our actions should follow moral values. That's the end of the summary. Thank you very much for your support. I'll see you in my next video.